Easy Day Studios brings us Skater XL, a game aimed at a very particular public that just about gets the job done. My name is Paulo, and this is our video review. What do we want from a skate game? Our expectations are directly tied to two fundamental factors. The first, of course, is whether we've ever got on a skateboard and done the sport ourselves. The second has to do with the legendary Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which not only took the flashiest and, to be fair, most frivolous parts of this street sport to televisions all over the world, propped up by PlayStation's success and the mass appeal of the EX games. So if you got into skateboarding through that game, you're likely to play anything that matches the franchise's eclectic arcade style rhythm. But if you've ever got on a skateboard, I hold 10 years service in this business, you'll probably understand two things. First, that skateboarding and its culture are pretty far removed from the X Games and its fireworks. More than a sport, skateboarding is a cultural movement, stripped of all those bells and whistles, where the only thing that matters is you and your board. Second, that the main main purpose of the street skateboarding is simply to wander the city until you find that perfect spot where you can practice, repeat and pull off your favorite trick or routine. That's where the sport's real magic lies. To a large extent, Skater XL manages to bring together skateboarding's most traditional aspects. To do so, it takes the radical decision to strip away anything that makes it look like a traditional video game. So, unlike games like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater or EA's Skate, which a lot of people wrongly compare it with, Skater XL doesn't have a story mode. There is no progression through levels, no items to unlock, or anything to distract you from the only thing that matters in this experience. You, the obstacles, and your board. This Easy Day Studios game doesn't even with introductions. We practically start in the street with a skater whose appearance we can personalize with a number of aesthetic options that are as austere as the rest of the sections. And that's it. We navigate around the level with a cursor to find the right spot to reappear and then we put our inventiveness to work. Although it may seem a little simple, this is where Skater XL really shines through in its control method. Basically, the idea is to use the left stick to control the left foot and the right stick for the right foot. So you can't play it on PC with a keyboard and mouse. When we do the first challenges, which work as an undercover tutorial, we understand how well the system is implemented as the board rises and rotates following the same logic behind flip tricks. A kick flip, for example, can be done by making the board jump with the rear foot and then sliding the front foot out to the left. It's a quick movement that takes synchronization, but which allows us to get down one of the simplest and most attractive tricks that we can do with the board. Skater XL works exactly like that, and thanks to this I was able to grasp intuitively how to do advanced tricks like the laser flip or the hard flip, as well as tricks with spins, turns, or blunt style grinds on the edges of a bowl, and so on. The control system is the real star of the show, because despite its limitations, it allows us to express ourselves with total freedom, and when we come to master it with ease, we feel like we're really on the board. In this sense, nothing I've played before gave me that sensation of skating like Skater XL does. To tell the truth, I love it. And that's all. Skater XL is not a game, but rather a simulator that aims to summon us into that state of mind of fantasy about a line of tricks and practicing it until it's perfect. Depending on your expectations, it might disappoint because for those who are a complete stranger to this world of bearings and grip tape, what Skater XL offers won't feel like a big deal, especially compared to titles that tackle the sport with a broader audience in mind, going into more traditional conventions. From this perspective, I could say that if you've skated in the past or you skate now, it's perfect for you, right? Well, the big problem is that there are more expectations here than necessary. While I understand the austere look fits the street philosophy of skateboarding, this Skater XL could have done with a little more content. We have four professional skaters who only the most knowledgeable of skate fans will recognize. A total of five skate parks, three of them based in locations in Los Angeles, and very few options for personalizing our avatar. But even worse is the lack of basic tricks. There is no 
gap system, no lip tricks, nor can you get off the skateboard and do routines in the style of Rodney Mullen, which Tony Hawk's Pro Skater does let you do, to give one example. The control system lets you express yourself with complete freedom, but always within the parameters established by the development team. So at times it feels a little limited. Skater XL relies strongly on its community, like the real sport, to such an extent that two of the maps included in the official launch, after years in early access, come from enthusiasts who work shoulder to shoulder with the developers to turn this title into something much more robust. In this sense, it's fair to say that the best version of Skater XL is on PC. Since you can apply mods, you get improvements that expand the game to unexpected levels. From the addition of a cameraman filming our lines. In fact, Skater XL has an excellent video editor for sharing our clips, to new clothes, boards, sounds, and a whole load of other stuff. It's true that we can't consider it something that adds points or covers up the gaps because it isn't content that comes with the title, but if you can give it a chance on PC, you'll notice the difference. But the mod I like the most is the one that enables the multiplayer function. Not that it adds play modes, but it does create sessions with various players on the level. Given that there is no traffic or pedestrians to dodge, this addition means that the places that Skater XL portrays feel like a place that exists, leaving behind the sterile sensation that these levels sometimes give you. There are several things that Easy Day Studios need to fine tune and add in the future, and I'm sure they will. After all, Skater XL was created in the days when EA's Skate was truly missed, and the continuity of that series was in doubt. It felt like Skater XL would fill that void, but no. Today, the skateboarding genre appears to have a second life. Tony Hawk will return, someday there will be a Skate 4, and we have this Skater XL, which, against all odds, stands out for its own features. Given that it has a message for a specific audience, and it does it with a language that the rest of its ilk don't use, it has a long way to go. But if the studio keeps up the work it's done so far, I'm sure that in time, we'll have the purest, most definitive skateboarding experience in the digital medium. Because of all of this, Skater XL gets 7 points. Although the simulation that it tries to capture functions on many level, it lacks content and more options to express yourself when you're on or under the skateboard. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Follow us on social media and visit www.malditosnerds.com to stay up to date with the latest video game news. Thanks for joining us and see you next time. Next time.